Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have my sometime weekly Dollar Tree haul. But I have to admit, I did a bad, 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 bad thing. I had a eye doctor appointment today. Plus I had all these things to, I had to clean the house, do this and that, and And I thought if I leave an hour before my eye doctor appointment, I can quick run into Dollar Tree because I needed to get a couple more of these. I'm working on an organization project for my craft sale. And I'll show you this later. But anyway, so I thought, well, I'll run there. No, 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 I go to the doctor and come home. And I totally forgot that I needed to eat lunch some point in there. So I went to the Dollar Tree hungry. Like, I was okay. And then I saw this, like, um... What's it called? Uh, Papa John's? No. Little Caesar, and they had a thing in the window, $5 lunch pizza, and I thought, oh, I didn't eat lunch. Not that I wanted a pop it or whatever, uh, Little Caesar pizza. So that just, like, did me in. I was hungry all of a sudden. And, yeah, I kind of shopped like I was hungry. So, anyways, these things, um, I have some of these in my basement from... I don't know, you could buy 10 for 10 at one time at, I think, Walmart. It was years and years ago. But anyways, I bought Aldi this week. Aldi's has this really cool wagon. It's, um, you know, can not canvas, but kind of nylon, but real, really, really sturdy nylon. And it folds up, collapses for storage. It is the most awesome wagon. Because I thought it'd be cool to use it for craft sales. When you gotta haul your crap in and then haul it all back out. It weighs, or no, it weighs like, I don't know how much it weighs. But it holds 180 pounds. This little wagon. So I bought it. It's only $50 and it's worth all of that and more. I mean it's really sturdy. They have like a solid bottom. <clears throat> and it's nice. I can't, I'm excited. So, Scrubby thinks I'm nuts for buying these little bins. But he, when we get done with the sale, he's always there to help me tear it down. He throws everything in this big, huge Rubbermaid, you know, 800-gallon bin. And it's paper goods. It's not going to last. It's not. So he, he's like, well, I'm not going to put there anything. He's already complaining. We don't even have a sale for about six months. But anyways, so I wanted to get these smaller ones. So I can put, you know, my small books in one. So I can so I can organize my crafts projects or craft sale items by type. It's gonna work for me, it won't work for him, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So I will show this project later. Pink. Okay, so here's my stock up. I buy I go through Kleenex. I bet I go through and these are really nice the Kleenex. Thicker than what you get in the big boxes, so I really like them. But, you know, I have a lot of allergies, and so I go through Kleenex like crazy. I buy probably two of these every week. Um, but anyways, and I probably should use um, washable handkerchiefs, but heck, that seems too gross for me. <clears throat> okay, and then, what's that, h and B? I I don't have any more h and B. Um, so then, well, yeah, I do. I'm <laughs> holding it in my hand. I use this. Um, foot soak. It's really nice. They also have a foot scrub. And I can't remember if it's, um, I think it's assured, but the scrub is really, really nice. If I think of it, I'll show that. I don't, I didn't need any, so I didn't buy any. But this is super nice for your feeties. I just have one of those foot baths. I soak my feeties and then scrub them all up with the foot scrub. All right, so then kitchenware. Right, we'll go to the kitchen aisle. I bought one of these. Aren't they cute? Super duper cute. And I like the little handle ones because you can hang, you know. I mainly because I have um, bad joints in my my see that little bump it's my hand. I've damaged this thumb, and I have a little bit of the, not a little bit. I got a lot of arthritis in my hands, um, but so it helps for me to have. 
you know, I, it's hard to hold on to a big glass. So this is way better. So anyways, and plus it's so dark cute. The straw alone. Isn't that cute? Got that. And I got this for Scrubby because he saw mine. I bought a pink one with the cute um, pattern on it. And he drank all my water one day when I took it out. So bought him one of these. They didn't have any of the fancy ones left. And he can't complain because it's BPA free. He's like, I'm not drinking out of that plastic. Is it BPA free? And I'm like, yeah, oh, all right, give me it. So, and then I used to buy the little Dixie cups. They're not Dixie brand, but you know what I mean. Because we both um, do mouthwash. And um, we're frugal. So I won't, I will admit, we you reuse our little cups. We each have one. But we've noticed the last batch that I bought, it leaks. You know, like, you'll put it the mouthwash in the cup. And we're only talking about that much in the little cup. And it starts leaking on the counter right away. So he announced that I was not allowed to buy those anymore that I need to go get the real Dixie brand, so I found these instead. I thought these would be good. Plus, you know, you can reuse them, you can wash them out. It's not so disposable, I know it's plastic, but maybe it's less hard on the environment, I don't know. I guess I was in a blue period today. Um, and then, <clears throat> for electronics, we're in the electronics aisle now, uh, oops. These are nice. They really actually retract. And my problem is, is I like to kind of pull them out and then let them go. And so I kind of, you know, ruin them right away. Not right away, but it takes a while. But anyways, I just need a new pair. So those work really nice for my Kindle. Okay, now I'm going to get through the food so that I can just get through the guilt, okay? These are back. Oh my God, if you haven't tried these. Oh, it is, it really is the best key lime pie, little cheesecake pie. And it's super easy. You just need a um, package of cream cheese, a container of Cool Whip or whatever, and a graham cracker crust. But then, look what they have here, a cheese ball. Cheesecake ball, wouldn't that be fun? And then you just dip in graham crackers. So that might be a fun summer treat. Grubmeister. He loves this pie, which is, he's not a cheesecake person. Don't say that he is. All right, then I saw this, and he doesn't like salami sandwiches, but once in a while it's just kind of a fun novelty to have. So I just bought one pack, and I thought, you know, make a few sandwiches for myself this week or next week. So for a buck, and I can guarantee you there's probably a coupon for that somewhere. Because I've used the um, coupons, the, there are coupons on the um, uh, pepperoni. All right, and then, oh, see, I was really bad. I'm such a, I'm, I'm weak when I go in with a tummy that wants food. Like, why would I buy these? I've never bought anything like this before. But the peanut butter is just like, ooh, cookie. So I got that. These I've actually had before, and they're kind of fun to have. And you can just, get, oh, what is it? 45 crackers is 140 calories. So, you know, that's a lot of crackers. You know, so you can cut that in half and you've got just a nice little salty processed snack. A product of India. So those are kind of good. I've had the, um, what other kind is a ranch. And these are cheddar cheese, so I thought I'd try those. I had them, I tried them two years ago, I haven't tried them since. And then I normally don't, I used to use jarred uh, mushrooms, and then I just went and switched to fresh. But, you know, fresh, it's hard to keep fresh. They can go bad pretty quick, and, you know, if you don't buy them every week, you don't have them. And if you buy them every week, you got to use them every week, and not everybody wants mushrooms every week. So I thought I'd try these, they can't be that bad. And they're not made in China. Where are they made? Thought I read that. Well, no, it has to say. I'm I'm guessing Mexico or Colombia or Poland. <laughs> well, there you go, Pampa. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, so sometimes if you make a hot dish, 
you don't really need the fresh mushrooms anyway. So, these are new. I thought I'd try these. In fact, I'll try them right now. Little, I love peach. Peach is my all-time favorite fruit. Even when I was little, I'd get my allowance and go get a peach. Play. Ooh. Oh, I don't know about these. Gross. Ooh, these are weird. Oh, you know what it's like? Oh, oh these are hideous. Don't get them. Ick. I don't even know what it's like. It's like gross. Ish. China. See, I should have known. These are really weird. Oh, la, 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 la. I'm gonna drink some of my pop. Ooh, ooh. They are really weird. <laughs> I can't even tell you what it's like. It's just, I don't even want to try it again so I can figure it out. That is gross ish. Alright, so, so much for exciting peaches. I wonder if you could soggen them up soft or get them soggy again. Ew. These are really weird. And they're good till January 2018. Oof, yeah, that's not good. Sorry, I don't mean to go on, but ooh, la, la, la. Okay, then I bought these. Um, these are really good, in fact. I ate one uh, waiting for my eye doctor because I was starving. They're really good and they're like little sushi rolls, so it's kind of fun. So that's, I'm going to go back and get more actually because they're, they're tasty. They're a great, you know, one of these for a snack in the afternoon instead of all the chocolate I eat. 38 calories. I think I'm just going to have one of these and get my sweet fix instead of, you know, chocolate. But, oh man, those peaches, gross. And then these are back. These are my favorite. Speaking of chocolate, these are really good. These are kind of like the Keebler, you know, for a fun little cookie. Oh, oh my goodness. Two cookies is 160 calories. And they're little. They're about, they're about this big. So this is indulging. This. Is suicide. This is like really weird. Let me just try a little another one. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what that tastes like. There's just blah, 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 blah. it's kind of like mango, and I can't stand mango. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, gross. All right, oof. Oh, I shouldn't do this on camera, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have taken another one. Doesn't it? Mm, gets all over your teeth. Another stock up, I had to get some of these. These are nice, the biggest one fits over a pie plate I found out, which is good because pie season is here. We got our rhubarb, I already made a rhubarb. Strawberry pie, and now I got a request for a bluebarb pie, which is rhubarb and blueberry. All right, and then we needed some of this, so I thought I'd try their brand or whatever home store is. I'll, I'll give you a review on that. I bought one of these last week, but it didn't work, so I'm going to try this again. If it doesn't work, it's going back. And then I got two more of these. I love these little things. I really do. And I think I'm just going to keep buying them until they don't have them anymore. And then, we're doing a, oops, I forgot one of my food items. This is, I love pickle relish, like on my hamburger or a hot dog. And this is, and then you know what else I do is I use this with a little Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, and you can make your own tartar sauce. From when we have fish, excuse me. So, this is really good sweet relish, pickle relish, and I've gone through a jar um, probably the last three months. 
All right, then I bought these. We're doing a swap on your paper pantry. Marla Echo 933, I think it is, is doing, uh, is hosting it for us. And it's a dollar bin swap. It has to be either from like a Michael's dollar bin or Joanne's kind of dollar bin, whether dollar fifty bin or Daiso or Dollar Tree or any kind of dollar store. It has to be craft related. So I thought these bags were kind of pretty. And I thought what I might do, she says we can't open the package. I was going to switch them, like do half and half, but I, I probably won't know. But anyway, so I kind of got a few things for that swap. And look at how darn cute these are. I bought one of these. Oh, did I get, how did I get this? I didn't put this in my cart. Or did I? Hmm. Well, I don't know how I got that again. But I bought one of these the other day and I know, oh, you know. Never mind. This is what I bought the other day. I didn't show ya. Oops, I, I just spilled my beans. I went twice this week. Tee hee. Same on me. I spilled my beans. All right, so yeah, I went twice this week. Anyways, I got that the other day and then found these today. Isn't this cute? I love the flowers. Very whimsical. Just a cute, they're really stepping up their game, man. And then I found out from Miss Ellen B that they have little stamps, so I gotta find those. So they'll probably come out here um, uh, like Tomorrow, maybe, but probably for sure next week. Their little um, self inking stamp. Look at coffee o'clock. It's coffee o'clock. Isn't that great? I just think that's cute. And this was super uber duper cute. Isn't that cute? It's not like I need another pad for grocery list. Trust me, I've got some, oh God, from five, six years ago from Michael's that I got in my stash. So. Cute, but I do use them. I do use them. And then these, I wanted to just try these out. I'll give a review on that too. They're highlighters, and they have like a, a nib point on here and a ball point down here. So review on the plastic wrap, plastic wrap, and these. And then I bought these for my oopsie. I bought these for my um my craft sale bins. So that's going to go with that, and I will show that when it's done. And then, of course, everybody is chomping on the bit to get this. These, you know what, I didn't even realize, nobody showed that there's a back to them. You get more on the back. Isn't that cute? These are going to be great for like flip books, you know, your planners. I don't decorate my planner. I did a couple of years ago and it just got, it got to be this 80 pound behemoth that I could barely pick up. Because it had so much crap and stickers in it. So anyways, I stopped doing that. Aren't these cute? I love that one. Super cute, Jot. Man, they are really, that like was the smartest thing they could do. They're just going to go crazy. I love this one. Isn't that cute? Very cute, pretty. And the back has more labels. Love this. I like that one. Aren't these great? This is perfect for flip books. Or any kind of mini album or, you know, even cards. This is awesome. <laughs> Get it? I'm just kidding. This one's cute. This, that. Everyday moments captured. And then they've got some tags. They're really nice. I mean, the colors are great. And not so much the lavender one, but I'm not a, I used to be a purple person, but they're pretty. But I love these colors. 
And I think they're looking better in real life than on my camera. You know, cameras, cameras lie. They say they don't lie, but they're, isn't that pretty? That'd be a nice bookmark if you wanted to, um, you know what you can do too? We used to do this back in the day is to put your stickers on chipboard and then cut out the chipboard so that you've got like a nice solid embellishment and then you can pop it up. But that'd be cute to do that with the bookmark and then laminate it. See, I'm glad I didn't buy a laminator. Nobody's laminating it. My camera shut off. This is really pretty. That's cute. Birthday boy. Isn't that pretty? So there's my haul. Good thing because my camera just decided it was going to shut off because I was talking too much. So um, I'll do a review on this and this and... I did my review on this crap. Oh my gosh. Do not. You know what? Yeah, don't buy it. I wouldn't say, like, go buy it and see what you think. Don't. It's gross. It's the grossest. Ugh. As you know. All right, so thanks for watching. Bye.